Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. I recently found a brand that produces watches every bit as fun as Swatch watches. What I love about swatches, both vintage and new, is how fun they are. The idea of putting a piece of art on your wrist is very appealing to me. And the brand that I just recently encountered is called Projects Watches. And their watches are super fun and super artsy. Now it's true, their pieces aren't very impressive from a watch nerd perspective. They are quartz, and who knows what movement, it's not noted. They may have mineral crystal, I don't know, because that isn't even called out on their site. And in fact, some of their watches don't even have their proportions listed. They are under $200, but they are brilliant and super fun and artistic. And in fact, so much so, that some of their pieces don't even bother to tell time. But artistically speaking, these are so great. I actually just bought one of their Bauhaus inspired watches and I'll be doing a review of that soon. And who knows, perhaps in the future, I'll own a couple of their watches. Perhaps the really abstract Bauhaus watch where the hands are perfectly square so it's really difficult to tell what they're pointed at. Or perhaps I'll just get one of their pieces that don't bother telling time at all. The colors are brilliant, and some of them have amazingly sized cases. 36 millimeters, for example. Some of my favorite pieces are the crossover. And this is actually one of their pieces that doesn't tell time. The dial is plain, pitch black, no markers or anything. The hands, if you could call them that, basically look like three sticks that randomly fell onto the dial. And I believe that those kind of rotate. I'm not sure if they rotate at the speed of a minute's hand, second's hand, or hour hand, but they really don't actually tell time. It is super artsy looking and I just love the way it looks. The Grand Tour Dual Time. And the one thing that's sad about this watch is I have no idea what its proportions are. They aren't listed at all on the website, but it looks great. It's almost a reverso style case, and it has two different clock faces on it, and you can set them independently of one another. So you could use it as a travel watch. The Bauhaus Century Black Watch is the one that I mentioned earlier, where the hands are perfect squares. And the way that they're positioned, it's really difficult to tell what time it actually is. I'm not sure if you actually can tell the time on this watch the more I look at it. But it looks really cool. And the M & Co 1014. This watch is really cool. It looks like a tame, normal, just plain Jane Bauhaus watch, but then you realize that there are only three numbers on the dial and they're random. There's a one, there's the four, and the 10, and that's it. The brand's stated goal is to create affordable, wearable works of art, and I personally am all for such an idea. Some of the great designers who've contributed to this company are Joel Escalona. According to the info on the website, his work is based on the belief that ideas should engage meaningfully and yet still push the limits of design. He has been featured in publications and events all around the world, including, and here's where things get painful, Maison of J. Paris and Salon Internationale del Mobile di Milano. He is a founding member of Cooperative Panoramica, which is a collective of Mexican designers. Another designer who's contributed to the brand is Dennis Guidon. His studio is based in Milan and Tokyo, 
and he focuses on strict precision expressed as beautiful, eye-catching work. He's actually the designer who created the watch that I purchased, as well as the Bauhaus watch with the big square hands and the crossover watches. Another contributing designer is Daniel Will Harris. He is a writer, actor, designer, and computer graphics pioneer. He's also designed award-winning book covers, visual systems for the entertainment industry, and he's designed identities for restaurants listed among the top 50 in the United States. Another designer is Tibor Kalman. He founded m Co., which is a New York-based graphics and product design consultancy which is known for its use of imagery and type to create imaginative and witty designs. The company has designed videos and album covers and stationery, as well as title sequences for movies such as Silence of the Lambs and David Byrne's True Stories. Projects Watches is such a unique brand. I would love to see some of their other designs in the flesh, so I'm sure that I'll be revisiting this brand in the future. And keep your eyes open for my review of the super fun Bauhausy watch that I actually own. Thanks for watching.